What's up guys? This is Redneck Texan 22 from Clan TRE. That's the Roman Empire. Check us out at clantre.org. I'm in the Big Team Battle Legion Fallen, and this is the first video of a new series called How to Get an Unfriggin Believable. So, this is a gameplay of Assault on Hemorrhage in which I get an unfriggin believable in the Wraith. And I'm going to go through and tell you guys some tips and tricks and, sh and teach you guys how to get an unfrig. So let's go ahead and get this started. Assault. So first off, the most important thing to get an unfrig and believable is to have a good team. Because if you have a good team, they're not going to try to betray you. They're not going to, you know, Bomb steal taken. whatever weapon or vehicle of choice that you want to use. You know, this is our team, our uh, big team battle, Legion Fallen from TRE. <laughs> And uh, we've already established our rushes, so we know who's going for what. You can see there, Cole and Zelo going for the blueberries. Very important to get the blueberry control because for me and the Wraith, blueberries can take me out very easily. So, good job for my teammates picking that up. So, uh, mostly what I'm going to be doing this game as the Wraith, I'm the biggest and baddest thing on this field. So, I'm controlling the entire center. I'm stopping them from getting past our spawn trap, which you're going to see us putting on them. I'm also controlling vehicles. As you see there, I got that Mongoose with the bomb out of the way. I'm going to help out killing uh, Revenants and Warthogs and basically just doing a lot of destroying of their vehicles. My teammates are going to make sure that their sniper is taken down. In fact, I think we even at one point steal their sniper. Uh, we're also going to help me out over here at this cave because this is going to be a very important area to control. They've obviously got the blueberries, and I think they've already even taken out the uh, opponent's wraith. So they've done everything that I need them to do so that I can have the best game possible. So you're going to see what I'm going to do while we're arming the bomb. The biggest thing I'm going to do is control three to four different spawns. I'm controlling the neutral spawn, which is over here at, uh, we call this Hamburger Hill, some people call it Big Hill, just whatever you want to call it, this hill over here by our teleport exit. Uh, I'm going to control the cave, which they're going to spawn on the ledge outside their cave. I'm controlling their, their wraith tree spawn because they tend to run up through the cave, and I'm also controlling the teleporter spawn so that they can't rush over and get blueberries. So you can see the teamwork here. It's good to have a guy. Uh, I can shoot directly into the cave, but it's also good to have a guy up there. Pizza is up there. Uh, he's helping me control this cave because if they get through that cave, they have very easily, they can get a lot of really easy shots on me. So it's really important to control that cave. You can see I'm getting some nice cross map shots there. Uh, calling out when I'm shooting so that I don't accidentally betray my teammates. We're calling out their shoddy rocks. That's that spawn over there. Uh, so I'm getting some distance shots over there. Uh, you can see the wraith is already down. So I'm going to move in a little bit here to help with the spawn kill, especially because we're moving a bomb up, and when we're getting the bomb in there through that hog, it's important to uh, just control their base and get them spawning out of that. So you can see their whole team basically spawned over here by Telly. So I'm calling that out. I'm getting some kills, but I'm also staying back so that we can get uh, our Revenant in. Our hog's going to come over. They're all working on helping me out clear that. You see we just cleared out their whole team right there. Wow. So we've got our two bomb plants. We've already basically got this game one. Now we're just going to spend the rest of the time spawn killing so we can get our unfrig. <coughs> so you see I'm going to continue to control Hamburger Hill here. This is just really good because it gives me a lot of cover. I can shoot over to their telly. I can shoot to their base, which is very important. I can shoot shoddy rocks. I can even shoot back to their um, back beach. So I can pretty much control every spawn on the map. Uh, except for maybe their wraith tree spawn, but generally wherever they're going to run with the wraith tree, I can uh, I can get them if they go through the cave. So here we are, they spawn shoddy rocks, and we're all getting kills over here, just wipe their whole team out. <coughs> we've got guys on their base, we've got hogs up, we've got revenants up, we've got a lot of different vehicles up. Very important to get for this spawn trap, uh, is to use your vehicles, because they are very powerful. So obviously we're calling out that they're a tele spawn, we're helping each other. Very, very powerful. These three different vehicles, they all have very different, you know, abilities. Obviously, the, the Wraith, uh, you know, is very powerful. It can lob shots across the map and splatter, but it's slow. So they got the Hog for maneuverability and with the fast chain gun to finish off kills. And, um, you also see, I think they just got jacked over there, so I'm going to go over and help them out. So I don't want to betray Pizza, but... I basically had to blow up the hog because uh, he was killed. I was trying to let him get off and get the kill, but because I didn't want to betray him. But 
that didn't happen. <clears throat> so I'm back over here controlling Hamburger Hill. I saw that guy go invis, so I'm gonna keep shooting up there. If they drop down, now if they do get past you guys on the hill, oh, see he got on me, so quick shot at the ground. We'll get a guy who's trying to board you off while keeping you alive. <laughs> I'm calling out that that guy's up there by the concussion rifle spawns up there, so that's a good call out for that area. Um, if they do happen to get through your spawn trap or through the cave, it's important to move over to this right side of the hill because you got to get off the hill because otherwise you can't actually shoot at the ground. So because I got over there to the right, I was able to shoot the ground and uh, get that guy off of me before he could plant a grenade or punch me and, and weaken my wraith. So it does weaken your wraith to do that, but not as much as you think. So you can actually do that a few times. Um, it's a very, very good move. Um, yeah, so Pete's is obviously helping me out, controlling that uh, telly. They don't see him up there because he's in the corner. I'm just controlling these um, blueberry rocks. There we go, getting the splatter is very important, especially as they get in close range. If you don't, if they're not boarding you, you don't want to shoot at the ground to hurt yourself so you can get a splatter. That's uh, a really good wraith move uh, for those of you who want to get better with wraith driving. Uh, as you see, the way I like to use the wraith, a lot of people like to rush in and get maybe 5, 10 kills even, and then blow up. Um, or get boarded because there's just too many enemies around there. I tend to be very conservative, staying back. I, I've been, we've done a lot of work on my cross map shots. I can shoot at their base, right on their snipe spawn. I can, you know, I can really practice shooting across the map. So I really try to keep my wraith alive because I can get more kills in the long run. Than just going for the, uh, you know, kill tacular or over kills and then blowing up. You know. Another really good wraith move. I mess up the first two times, but I end up coming back. Is, sh is shooting into their their base. A lot of times, if they're camping in one of the corners, you can actually kill them with your splash damage by getting a nice solid shot in the back there. He had already moved away, but I've gotten a lot of kills in the past by uh, shooting right there uh, in the front or the back. So you see, we're still controlling vehicles. They have no vehicles on their map because we've either blown them up or we've even stolen them. And when our vehicles get on fire. Um, <coughs> You'll notice as you use Wraith more and more, people uh, will start jetpacking because it's a way to avoid getting hit. Uh, but you'll see that it's still possible to hit jetpackers, uh, as I do coming up here in a little bit. I, I get a couple of them. Uh, but that's a very skilled and, uh, skilled and practiced move that you got to really work on that because uh, that's very hard to hit them out of the sky with the Wraith. <coughs> so we've got complete vehicle control, complete weapon control, so there's really nothing right now on the map that is a danger to me. And, uh... Yeah, we're just calling out. They called out that that hog came across. I got my rampage. It's 20 kills in a row now without dying. We're just back to controlling the middle of the map. Here he goes jetpacking. This Diego McDrent just kept coming at me, and there you see me getting him out of the sky. Just embarrassed this kid over and over and over. Um, I think I actually get my own break by killing him. Here. But um, anyway, we got back control here. They pushed us forward a little bit, but we uh, are back. I don't know how I didn't see that guy there in the cave. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's a good thing to do uh, if you are on the opponent's team is try to hide in that little cave there, because uh, I, I didn't see him. So we'll see what happens with him there. Uh, he's certainly not helping out his teammates, so at this point these guys are just trying not to die. But uh, as you see, it's not too successful. We got some great snipers. You're gonna see here that as I move up into the center, um, you know, it, it's a little bit more of a dangerous, risky move, a little bit more aggressive, but with a really solid team who's calling out and helping you, you're gonna see uh, people just dying all around me because if they get close to me, my teammates are, are watching my back. They're sniping them off, they're shooting them. You'll see a hog come behind me and pick Bomb off guys. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna see just a lot of great teamwork here protecting me and that's the only way to really get an unfrig. I mean um, he's got to have great teamwork uh, it makes it so much easier um, so I got my untouchable now it's 25 kills without dying you can see I'm just backing away a little bit because I couldn't tell where people were I was getting really DMR'd so I'm just letting the revenant and the hog take him out for a little bit there that guy's still over in that little cave oh my gosh <laughs> he's just been camping there the whole game that's so funny
So we're trying to just figure out where they're spawning. I'm seeing that they're spawning up in the cave, and I'm getting some shots up there. I think we also heard they're spawning maybe Wraith Tree, or I'm coming over here to check it out. Um, we got a guy on top of their base ready to steal their sniper. Just calling them out where they're spawning. Wow, there they all go. I'm giving help, you can see, to the uh, Warthog. Shooting the guys off of them. Bomb. I think that guy finally came out of the cave, made his move. Got killed. If you're gonna try to sneak up on the Wraith now, he had a pretty good strategy there. I didn't see him and he was right behind me, but he started shooting me with his AR. You know, you're not gonna kill a Wraith with an AR. If he would have not shot and either crouched up to me or sprinted up to me really quick, he probably could have got on my bag and blown me up. And that would have totally stopped my unfrig. So he had a pretty good strategy, but just messed it up in the end game. You can see this guy over here is going to do the same thing. He's shooting over with his concussion rifle. I might not have seen him get past our spawn trap. He could have gotten into our base. He could have stolen our sniper. He could have got our flag or, I guess, his assault. So he could have stolen one of the hogs over there. But because he, he shoots out into the air like that with the concussion, I'm able to see him and call him out. And even though I don't get the kill, my teammates know he's there and, we're, and we start to watch him. So uh, we'll get him in a second here. <laughs> so you see, I just got my Invincible. That's 30 kills now without dying. 10 away from an unfrig. As you just see the teamwork there. They are uh, sniping them. Like Vita just got two guys from the cave. Uh, Cole just ran over another guy outside of the cave. So you just see him get three guys off me right there. Um, it's not stealing kills. It's, it's providing support. You know, I, they, there's too many guys there. Um, and, and I'm still getting a ton of kills. So. Just excellent support there. I think Xylus just got jacked here. I'm going to try to help him out. I have no idea how that shot did not blow up that right. It was right on him. I can't believe that. It would have saved his life. But I still get a really beautiful trajectory shot there. I, I figured out you got to really aim in front of those vehicles because they're going to be boosting away from you. So uh, I've practiced those as well to try to figure out how to do that. And that was just a really beautiful shot right there. Um, you can see there another hog got jacked, but they were able to uh, team shoot him as I was providing support, and both stay alive. Even though the hog was wrecked, he just didn't give up any kills. So the boost is also really, really important because it's, it's helpful to move really quickly to get in close and then shoot. Um, you got to make sure that you're very accurate, though, when you do shoot because if you miss your shot, you boost it right towards them and they'll board you. Uh, you can see another really good air shot there as I got on that guy. And now they're all spawning uh, cave ledge. And uh, just very easy shots, getting my inconceivable 35 kills now in a row without dying. <coughs> you see my teammates going over there to provide support as those guys are shooting me up the back. Just guys just falling out of the sky. All these guys are using jetpack now because of me. And my teammates are just sniping them, killing them with the Warthog turret. You can see they're all just dying right around me because they can't even get to me. Because we're spread out and we're DMRing and sniping. And it's really providing a lot of support. So still controlling their vehicles as they spawn, I'm blowing them up. They flipped our hog, but you can see I come over here and I help them out, I get the kill on this guy. Keeping our hog alive, keeping those guys good. You see Cole helping me out there with that kill, and as I go over to control the ghost spawn, I don't know how that didn't kill the guy. The ghost blew up right in front of him. <laughs> but assists are good too, assists are good. There's another example, Pizza on the back of that turret, just helping me out, killing the guy in my blind spot. Here comes a jetpacker, boom, dead, right above me. Excellent kill, Xylos got him with a headshot, didn't even have a chance. So at this point, three guys were rushing me, and I was trying to kill him from their niche, but I had to change my target, and I started uh, shooting the guy closest to me, he's obviously the most important, because you'll have time to respawn your shot. <coughs> as 